those little tabs you got to break out, I guess? Yeah, they're tamper seals. Um, mm. You have the more difficult ones. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> those gray, they're, they're gray ones. Uh-huh. Um, usually they come out, other ones come out like butter. These ones, the ones I just took out, oh, they're good at this. They, they seem to fuse with the screw. Yeah. You know? All right, what's your reading? I got a 3823. Hopefully it'll take it. No. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter if it doesn't go through, I override it anyway. Yeah, yeah. It like that one, it, it didn't go through. So I just override it. Oh, you take a picture too, huh? Yeah, they got to take a couple of them just to verify. It's, no kidding. It's a pain, just in case someone reads it wrong. Yeah, sure. You know, and then uh, you go through it. They're called um, justifications, and we go through and we actually, uh, if somebody reads it wrong, we can we can change it to whatever it is just to make sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I was gonna say, you want to go for a coffee break yeah. in the meantime? <laughs> it's funny, I, uh, I tell customers all the time, I'm like, hey, go run your laundry for a little bit or something. Yeah, right? You know? And it's, uh, it only takes five minutes, though, you know? Yeah. Not even. Uh, this, this is only off the meter for like yeah. a minute and a half, you know? Should run and put the heat back up. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> bad at all. Uh, things have gotten too electronic from how yeah, they work. you know what? It's, uh, it saves you guys money though in the long run. You yeah, know, no, I know that. They, and, and all that you yeah, know what they, I mean? they, they would always screw the bill up anyway. So. Exactly. Me personally, I have an inside meter as well. Uh -huh. um, so it's a little bit easier on me because I nobody's ever home. You know, everyone <laughs> works in my, in my house. Yeah, so. definitely. Yeah, you guys always come when I'm not here, yeah, so that's how it works. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Give you twenty bucks, leave those plugs out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now they, they inspect them. They yeah. Come back. Yeah, there's a possibility that you actually may have one more person return for quality control. Yeah. Uh, normally, normally they just come and knock on the door. Um, I mean, you said you're yeah, they, you're normally not home anyway, so there's possi possibility they they won't get in. Yeah. But um. They also do uh, checks on the meters frequently. Like yours was, yours was last checked uh, probably a while ago, right? It says 97 on the meter. Yeah. It's probably the last time that they inspected it. Huh. All right, you're all done. Cool. So here's the new thing. Let's cover it over. It looks like you could almost get in there, but you can't. So, yeah, they had to change the head of the gas meter for automatic reading. So that's what they did. I was going to make a little preview video to this because there ain't nothing here. So I had to move all these printers, all four of them just to make room. Now I gotta figure out. Yesterday it was like, oh yeah, I'll remember which cable is which. I don't remember now. This cable's there. I think I know which is which, but whatever. And I gotta hook all that back up and put it all back right up to 
past the light actually the top printer sits not that they have ink in them necessarily but it's there so that was that that was changing the meter you just pop these guys out and you can see the screw is a little buggered now you can see right there but I don't give a crap it ain't my meter it's theirs they just put it here just to you know piss me off send me a bill kind of thing so anyway the new one is there now I've read a lot of things online about how these automatic reader things work and uh, at least it's not a smart electric meter which uh, I've read has a uh, potential characteristic for catching fire so that's good uh, hopefully this won't and I wonder how long the batteries in it will actually last. I'm sure it's a good like 10 years, but even so, you, do, you just don't know. Of course, the boiler isn't firing up, so I could actually see this go, but oh well. Maybe I'll wait till that happens just to see, but the hydrostat is currently satisfied, so it will not do that. And then I get to put all these printers back just something I don't feel like doing right now. There he goes. Well, I don't know if I like that. Because that one in the lower left that's just spinning around there. The old one was kind of herky-jerky, if you will. And this new one is nice and smooth. And I can see the other one moving there. Oh, crap. You know, you'd think, right, that they give you a meter, this would all be at zeros, and you kind of start with a clean slate, but apparently it doesn't work that way. Oh, the wonders of owning a home and paying bills. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.